Our message for today is entitled, Road to Success, Joshua chapter 6 verses 1 to 27. But before that, let us pray. Takila naming Diyos na makapangyarihan ka sa lahat. Lubos ang aming pasasalamat, Panginoon. Ngayong araw na ito, at humihiling kami, Panginoon, uh, bigyan mo ako ng talino at uh, uh, wisdom, O Lord, na magpapayag ng iyong mga salita. At uh, nawa, Panginoon, ay ikaw ang manguna sa amin. Lord, uh, continue to guide us, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Today, I want to share to you is the story of the fall of Jericho, which is found in the book of Joshua, chapter 6, verses 1 to 27. This is a story about how Joshua defeated and took the city of Jericho. With this message, we are interested in the character that of Joshua that leads to the destruction of the wall of Jericho. As we go over the story, we can understand and lear learn what led them to their success in conquering the city of Jericho. Before Moses died, he handed over the leadership to his successor, Joshua. The book of Joshua comprises the stories of how Israel took promised land. It was greatly described there how Joshua showed his impressive characteristics as a leader. Let us read in Joshua chapter 6 verses 1 to 5 in the New International Version. Now the gates of Jericho were securely barred because of the Israelites. No one went out and no one came in. In verse 2, Then the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands, along with its king and its fighting men. In the verse 3, March around the city once with all our men. Do this for six days. At verse 4, Have seven priests carry trumpets of rams, horns in front of the ark. On the seventh day, marched around the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpets. In verse 5, When you hear them sound along the blast of the trumpets, have the whole army give a loud shout. Then the wall of the city will collapse and the army will go up, everyone straight in. What character can we see in Joshua from these verses? He listened attentively to God's instruction. We can see how Joshua listened carefully. He did not question a God about the command, even though Joshua knew that the city of Jericho was made of its towering stone walls. They were too high to climb, too thick to beat down and the huge, sturdy city gates have been bolted and barred. Not even the smallest house, mouse, has found a chick in the defenses to creep in, in or out. This means that there were no weak points of Israel, Israelites to attack, but for Joshua, what was more important was not the towering city, it was the resolve of his God that matters most, of, most to him. For us Christians, same thing we need to do in our everyday lives. Reaching success means overcoming great hurdles. And the first we need to do every time we need to surpass the hurdle is to focus not in the problem, but focus of what God to say to us. We need to listen to God. In Joshua chapter 6, verses 6 to 8, verse 6, So Joshua, son of Nun, called the priests and said to them, Take up the ark of the covenant of the Lord, 
and have seven priests carry trumpets in front of it. And he ordered the army, Advance, march around the city with an arm, armed guard going ahead of the ark of the Lord. Verse 8, When Joshua had spoken to the people, the seven priests carrying the seven trumpets before the Lord went forward, blowing their trumpets, and the ark of the Lord's covenant followed them. The, the character that Joshua so showed in these verses is that he obeyed God immediately. He did not doubt or had any second thought. Instead, he trusted God, placed his faith on Him, and obeyed without hesitation. For us Christians, we need to do what Joshua did. To be able to reach our goal, we need to obey God immediately without any hesitation. We need to trust in Him and have faith. We need to remember that full obedience means no hesitation and requires immediate action. In Joshua verses, uh, chapter 6, verses 14 to 16 and 20, in 14, So on the second day, they marched around the city once and returned to the camp. They did this for six days. In verse 15, On the seventh day, they got up at the daybreak and marched around the city seven times in the same manner, except that on that day, they circled the city seven times. In verse 16, the seventh time around, when the, when the priest sounded the trumpet blast, Joshua commanded the army, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. In verse 20, when the trumpets sounded, the army shouted, and the sound of the trumpet, when the men gave a loud shout, the wall collapsed, so everyone charged straight, straight in, and they took the city. In these verses, Joshua and his men showed that they were consistent and that, and that they persevered till the end. They marched continually, not giving up. They showed much efforts and they abide till the, they finish their mission. As Christians, we need to do the same thing. Be consistent and persevere. God is watching over us. Always remember the famous quote, Do your best and God will do the rest. Always remember that our Lord in the lo our our labor in the Lord is not and will not be in vain. With these three characteristics mentioned, Joshua and his men succeeded in taking over the city of Jericho, coined by the name the Paul of Jericho. So as Christians, I urge you brothers and sisters in Christ, let us imitate what what Joshua did in our life's journey to become a successful, we will all face our own walls of Jericho. But remember that in order to overcome those walls, we need first to listen carefully to God, then obey Him, and continually persevere. And like the Paul of Jericho, we can overcome these walls. God, God bless us all. Mabuyo kahit tayong lahat.